Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Terra Firma Punk. So, I think this needs a, I think it's, because this is a, this mod that lets me do stuff like this is called Smart Moving, I believe. And I think Smart Render is what's supposed to fix stuff like this. Because it, it's kind of confused on where my gear is at, which is why this is happening. But it would look cool if the armor worked properly. Well, the uh, render worked properly. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what I want to do today is... Uh, well, for one, I want to get this going. Because I want to work on... Oh, uh, by the way, I made a flintlock revolver. Um, because that revolver chamber uh, is used in the uh, revolver. And so is that breach. I guess the revolver chamber chamber lets me reload or uh, have six shots, and then the breach, which uh, I have to apparently pick one or the other, the revolver chamber or the breach. The breach allows me to run and reload at the same time. Um, I didn't put the bolt action on the musket yet because I kind of wanted to show you guys how you do it. Um, but yeah, that got us. So I got these three things made. But anyway, I want to go ahead and make the. Um, I want to start working down this so we can get a carpenter. So we need to get a uh, mechanical board. So that's what we're going to be doing today is working on that stuff. Um, real quick though, I want to show you. So we take the so like the revolver has the, re, uh, the revolver chamber in it, and I can swap that out with the breech if I want. Which uh, I want to keep the flintlock revolver with the revolver chamber just in case, um, because I'm not too worried about running and reloading, but having uh, six shots in one would be nice. So we're going to put this on. There we go. And apparently, actually, let's uh, see how long it takes to reload this thing, right? So there's that. And then if we put the bolt action on, it is a bit faster. Not a ton faster, though, is it? But it is noticeably faster anyway that's a good thing okay so we need to do um, quite a bit of uh, smithing here so we're gonna need see a spanner requires a mechanic mechanical board to make so we'll have to do this recipe here so we're gonna need some brass cogwheels, some metal chains, which is the 10 double ingots. I haven't made in 10 double ingots, so we're going to have to do that. Um, so let's get... Okay. And get those going. Now I think 10's got kind of a low... Uh, a low melt point melting point so we'll have to keep an eye on that actually with the uh, molds in there I'm not too worried about it um, but we also need a wooden crank um, which is really easy to make so let's do that real quick oh I had it sticks on me there we go we got our crank and then uh, we'll need the brass cogwheels, which we have four of. Um, I ground up some redstone, so we have redstone now. And the brass plates, I guess we'll go ahead and make. Um, well, I actually have quite a few. Although, since that recipe requires brass plates, that's not a big deal. Uh, so we'll do that. Um, because it's a little bit harder to make the, the sheets than it is these ones here let me I'm gonna need an extra hammer okay that's got that got us two brass plates oh yeah with those oh 
Just in time. Weld. Weld. And put those two in. Metal chain. So, not last, not last, last. We'll do... Oh, close. Oop. There we go. Three metal chains. Okay, uh, so let's just grab our hog wheels here. And a redstone. We'll take some of those. Our two brass cog wheels. Uh, it was. I don't remember. And a crank. U2. There, and there. Mechanical board. There we go. Uh, so we will get the slime balls. An advanced handle. Okay, so how do we make an advanced handle? Uh, that requires a mechanical board, a bronze uh Tie toy ear toy ear? How do you say that? Okay, well we can do that. Uh bronze double plate. Okay, so we'll get that heated up real quick. Uh get them going. And let me chow down on some blueberries here. Okay, so it was, so we're going to need to grab some leather, so let's go grab some leather real quick. Alright, let's go ahead and take half those. Uh oh, lag. Okay. Handled it. Alright, and you probably got a ways to go still. Um, what do you... It's gonna want four servo arms, huh? And what is this? A wind-up trinket. And slime balls, that's not easy to make. Okay. Uh, what was it? Servo arm or something? Yeah. So we need four of these, holy crap. Oh, okay, you get one. So we're gonna need another mechanical board. And some cylinders. Uh, well, we can't make steel. So we need galvanized tube, which is a wrought iron and a zinc sheet. Okay, so let's get uh, how do you make this? Double sheet. So we need a, we need to get these going. Oh crap. I didn't know you could do that. Oh man. There we go. And then it was... It was tin or a zinc. Oh crap. Uh, do I have zinc? I don't even know if I have zinc. That's tin. Uh oh. Uh, what is zinc in this? I don't think I have zinc. What is this zinc? I can't even remember what stuff is. It's been a while. 
Okay, this is ink. Okay, so I'm going to need to melt some of this down. All right, so this is going to take me a little bit longer than I thought. Oh, crap. All right, um, I'm going to make or melt some zinc down and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back and I just need to make this thing. There we go. And now we need to wait on this guy. I don't know if we're good to go actually. Did it want us to weld them? Oh, crap. Okay, yeah, there we go. Alright, and um, I went ahead and made uh, stuff for another mechanical board or two, actually. Because uh, we need a spanner. So, got a couple brass sheets. Uh, got another metal chain made. Uh, brass cog wheels and the wooden cranks and the redstone. There we go. And I don't know if this uses it up, but uh, we do need it for the servo table, which uh, I believe is after this one from, uh, yeah. From creative mode, I was kind of checking it out, seeing what path it leads us down, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was after that, because that's what you need to make it, the servo arms. I have no idea what the thing does, though, so we'll have to find out. Okay, so advanced handling. Uh, is a leather wooden crank. Yeah, so let's get our wooden crank. Uh, this thingy, leather, and that. There we go, advanced handle. Oh, that didn't use it up. Okay. Uh, I went ahead and also made a bunch, I melted down a bunch of zinc and made a bunch of uh, sheets so yeah so we have a decent amount of stuff ready to go I need to eat now all I have to do is heat them up now let's go ahead and shut this off for now because I'm burning through charcoal pretty quick between uh, the steam and uh, doing all this wood uh, metal working okay so uh, claim and the servo arm. So that is the two cylinders, uh, which is a piston, redstone, and glass. I did not get a piston. We have to grab one of those real quick. Now let's go ahead and turn all these into. Um, regular pistons. And we just need the chisel. There we go. Move it, move it. I like to move it. Alright, and uh, what was it? Is this thing, right? So two redstone, piston, cylinder, two piston, cylinder, redstone. Now let's stack those and then the glass. That gives us our two cylinders and then we use that to... Is it gotta be a full crank? Wonder? It might, we'll see here. Uh, I forgot already. Mechanical, board, and brass plate. Does it have to be that plate? Apparently. Okay, well, let's get a plate. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna need another hammer here pretty quick. And brass. Okay, we got our brass plate. That, those, and that. Yeah, it's gonna have to be a fresh crank. I don't know, oh leg. I don't know why it didn't use that up on that last one. It's a bit odd. Where is he? Down below. Whoa, no he's not. Ooh. Thank you. Got another brass sheet. Okay. Uh, we got our crank, mechanical board, plate, and uh, I forgot what we need again. The cylinders. Am I missing something? Cogwheel. Oh, shoot. Okay, good thing I did make another cogwheel. A couple cogwheels, because uh, I didn't see that. And cylinders. Okay, finally made those. Okay, didn't use the crank wheel again. And that gives us two bags. Uh, servo table. Uh, allows us to build other machines. Okay, so how do we make this? We need the spanner, some leather, some smooth basalt, and the brass rivet, which I don't think I have. Yeah. Oh, maybe I do. They would probably up here, though. Let me get a drink. Oops. Oh, we got the basalt. And... Oh, I have gold rivets. Okay, so we're going to need a... To heat up a brass double ingot real quick. Put that in. Ditch this. Inventory is getting so full. Okay, I'll heat up. Let's put these away. Try to clear up my inventory a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and open these up. Epic. Ooh. Unbreaking smite knockback. I wonder. I wonder if that's actually a good weapon to use. Like what crushing crushing is good for. Cause I know like the slashing's good with zombies. Uh oh, so it'll be it'll be equivalent to the mace. I wonder I wonder if in breaking works as uh like it doesn't use up a charge as quick. So I wonder if it'd be better to use it as a weapon. Or if I could just go ahead and use it as a a regular hammer. Because I got that one. And I really don't use the mace that often. I don't know. And then we got our heart. Let's go ahead and open up another one. A good bag. That's really not very good. What's the good bag got? Wheat seeds, maize seeds, and copper hoe. I have so many hoes, it's ridiculous really don't need these. Just taking up inventory space. Actually, I probably could have melted that down. That's almost done. Uh, let's see, I got gold. That's full. I'll just stick you in there for now. Alright, are you close yet? And, oh geez, update, brass uh, double ingot, rivets, okay that should be good, I don't want to overdo it. Awesome, okay, so we got that done, now we just need... 
the uh, spanner, which is mechanical board, and three bronze sheets, which we actually have. Uh, what, what order was it? Ah, it's like these. And there we go. We got ourselves the spanner. Okay, so spanner, leather, rivet. Arms. Smooth. Oh, shoot. Smooth with salt. Spanner. And leather. There we go. We got ourselves a servo table. Okay, cool. It doesn't use it up. Awesome. Because I think that actually makes... Oh yeah, that makes it way easier. I should have made a spanner first. Shoot. That would have saved me quite a bit of... Well... Yeah, I could have made two of these for every one. Well, that was... Okay. I should have paid better attention there. Uh, drill head, dispenser, drill head. I think the next quest's a drill head. Now let's go ahead and do that. How do you make a drill head anyways? Let's look real quick. Drill head. Whoa, definitely the drill head. Alright. So we... We'll have to continue in the next episode because I am out of time for this one. So, yeah, we'll continue working on the quest and get ourselves a carpenter, hopefully, because uh, that's required for a bunch of stuff. So, uh, I wonder what would the best one be? MV wire connector? Probably. Gives you eight of them. Probably the cylinder. Oh no, blaze rods. Let's do the blaze rods. Okay. How do you make a drill? Let's look real quick. One sec. Is it hard? Yes, it is. Okay, definitely. Uh, we will be uh, continuing stuff in the next one. I will catch you guys. Uh, where am I? I'm I'm backwards. There we go. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.